I think women need to have their private spaces. And I especially think, well, I know an example of uh, a few examples of girls who have gone into the change room and uh, there's been a, a man there and they they don't want to go into the change room mm. anymore. Mm. So, you know, that's it. That's yeah. it for the sport. The girls don't want to go. And there's nothing they can do about it. I don't think any parent would want their girl to be in a change room or a toilets with a full-grown male. Yeah. Um, Lorraine, one gets the feeling in the United States that it is confronting these issues and that uh, mm -hmm. women like is it yes. Riley Gaines are standing up and saying no. And, in fact, if we look internationally, a number of sports bodies are starting to say enough's enough, let's stop being so silly about this. Is it your feeling that we're getting back towards some sort of acceptable normal on this issue in sport? I would hope so. I would hope so. Um, I think for sports to say all you have to do is check a box, male or female, and then you get to compete in it is completely um, wrong. It derails everything that we women fought for in the last century to get our um, equality in sports. And I think it's really unfair. And I, I think people know it's wrong when they're watching, say, Laurel Hubbard standing on the podium with two other women and, uh, and, and displacing another woman and her well-earned place on a team mm. um it's uh, to me it's really unfair and it goes against the ethos of sport because sport is not about winning it's it is certainly there's a part of it but a man who wants to come in and win is wanting to be a a big fish yeah, in i a gotta small say pond. i what appalls me most about this issue when i see it occur is the moral corruption of the people who do it, the men who do it, how what satisfaction can there be in winning on an unlevel playing field? It is just so narcissistic, to be honest, in, in, in my opinion, Lorraine. Yes, well, you know, Sean, we've got um, a Caitlin Jenner, who was Bruce Jenner as the gold medalist, yeah. decathlete, who says, you know, he knows, he, he sticks up for the woman. He says they should not, men should not compete in women's sports. Yeah. Because he could have declared himself a woman any day and he would have blown yeah, yeah, that's right. every woman's record, as we're seeing, you know. Yeah. Um, so there shouldn't be a standard for women that's set by a man. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. Lorraine, you've gone one step further and I think you're a person with with a pretty good perspective particularly on the sport issue of this this has now been raised in the last two or three weeks as an election issue and Winston Peters has come out and, and been absolutely unambiguous about that the only person to, to, to match him in that unambiguity is um, his good friend David Seymour leader of the ACT party National don't want a bar of it or Luxon doesn't want a bar of it because it's politically risky Labor, I would say, are in the other camp. They promote this sort of thing. And the Greens, of course, is transgender, strange, radical as you can, you can possibly get. You have added to your, your statements about this a political statement, and that is that you believe New Zealand First is the only party that can deliver in this space on this issue, and you're encouraging people to vote for them. Are you a long-time New Zealand First supporter? How did this come about? No, no, and I, I'm not really, uh, I don't follow politics that much. I never have. I've never been that interested in politics. Uh, the only reason that I made that statement was that at the time the, um, uh, the New Zealand First Party was coming out in support of women. Okay. and. I would like that to be a political issue, and I hope the other parties will yeah. come to the table. So, and ACT have come that out, really they've taken very it. much the same position. Lorraine, would you also say good on ACT? Absolutely, and yeah. I wish the other parties would come out and say, we're going to make a stand on this, because I don't think they'd realise how uh, divisive this issue is and how people really feel, mm. and uh, if 
if the US is any indication, I think you're going to see more and more people standing up and rallying against it mm. because it, it, it's not right. Mm. 